Hey guys, James here today, and welcome back to another Deligracy video with yours truly. Hey guys, it's Deli here today, and welcome back to another video. I've got Samaj here, uh, aka The Sims Player, aka James Turner YT. That's what they call me. And we're gonna be playing a bit of a different game. It's still Sim, mm. no plural. We're playing Sim Safari because this is one of the first Sim games I ever played yeah. back in the 90s. A lot of you guys wouldn't have heard of it, but I was speaking to James the other day and I was like, Oh, remember that Sim Safari game? I was game? like, yeah, I, I used to go around to my friend's place to play it. I, I don't think we ever, oh no, I think we got it because they had it. I begged my mom for it. Like, I want to play Sim Safari. It was the best game ever. So, the best. So we are going to be playing it today. James helped me download it. And I'm so excited to just, you know, have that, what's it called? Nostalgic experience. Nostalgic experience. There's a game coming out soon called Planet Zoo. Is it? And it also, yeah, it got me really excited again about Sim Safari because it's kind of a similar thing where you like build your own zoo, but obviously we're going to be building our own safari today. Yes, let's play. So get comfy, get yourself a tea. Tea, tea time. time. That's some Damn. good MFT. That's some good MFT right there. So we are in Windows XP, the good old days. Let's start her <laughs> off. Max's kids. Look at that frame rate though. You're there, it's beautiful, isn't it? I wish my videos had that high of a frame rate. Oh, oh my gosh. I remember this. From five minutes ago when we did the first take. I guess we want to park with a lot of water so that so the can little, drink. So the little square is where we're starting. And then we can expand, is that how that uh, works? Oh yeah, I think so. Ooh, ooh, Oh, that's ooh. near water, that's good. Easy? Yeah, of, of course. I think we need to be easy. Do you want to start with plants and animals? I feel like we probably should, right? Because... Welcome to your park. Hi, Ranger. Here in the park, you can build a wild kingdom of plants and animals. Be smart or your animals will starve, get eaten, or be poached. Once you build up your park, you can set up a tourist camp with the help of the local village. Okay, so we're going to build up the park, then we can build a tourist camp. All right. How do we do this? Oh my gosh, look at the wild animals. There's a lot of animals. Oh my gosh, look at look at the animation. Okay, well, what's, what's the tutorial? It doesn't tell us anything. What do we do? <laughs> what is this? Oh, oh welcome to Safari Camp. The oh, camp that's right. is where the tourists rest and relax while they are in Africa on Safari. The camp is also how you make cash. Make the camp as comfortable as your budget will allow. Don't neglect your park. Wild animals are what tourists come to see. Okay, and then what's this? So this is our park, this is our camp, and this is our village. This Ooh. is an African village that borders your park. The villagers share in the earnings from the camp. They'll mm. put up buildings and services as the camp becomes successful. If you're a responsible neighbor, the villagers will want to work for you and won't need to poach animals for money. Okay, what do we need to do? What is this? I don't really, see this is- Whoa! That's like you, <laughs> when you eat carrots. <laughs> Let's catch the bird. Oh my gosh! What? I stole the bird! <laughs> Where does it go? I vanished. <laughs> okay. I don't know what to do. Let's go to a mission. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> we're gonna play a mission because we had absolutely no idea what to do. <laughs> Endangered right. animal emergency. Ooh. Safari camp self barbecue. <gasps> Terrifying. That, that actually sounds awful. Holly hopping hares, ran ranger. Stop the poaching, please. Oh my gosh, I remember all of these. So these one, this one you have to like breed the animals more and try and mm -hmm. get more of them. Safari, camp self barbecue, you have to rebuild because there's been a fire, I think. How do Holly you hopping hares, I was really into this game. I was gonna say, how do you remember these? <laughs> Holly amazing. hopping hares is just like, you have to try and breed more other animals who will get rid of the rabbits and stop That's the awful. poaching. You have to um, make your relationship with the villagers a little stronger. Okay, so what, so what do you want to do? Do you want to focus on relationships, killing rabbits, rebuilding or saving and being a hero. I like building. Okay. A terrible, a terrible fire in the camp kitchen has destroyed your entire beautiful safari camp. You've got 10 years and $20,000 in insurance money to fix things. You need to have at least $50,000 by the end of 10 years or you're out of a job. Are you up to the challenge? Your visitors want comfortable beds and good food. So the nicer you make the camp, the more visitors will come and be sure that they can see the big five. Elephants, <laughs> rhino, buffalo, lions, and leopards in the park. They didn't travel across the world just to camp out in Africa. Well, why do they travel across the world to camp, or camp in a burnt down safari park? 
<laughs> Good point. <laughs> they want to see one. spots and straps. Should we do this? Yeah, you? let's try it. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I hear fire. Oh my gosh. Where's the fire? I can't Go move. back to the village, to the village, to the village. To the village! The village! To the village! Well, actually the camp, I think it was, sorry. Click on the lady, maybe she'll tell us. Lady. Ooh, your business manager cares about three things, profit, profit, and profit. She won't beat around the bush with her advice either. Listen up, she'll help you fill your camp with visitors. Okay, so that's our mission. The fire didn't do much damage. Bulldozing around the fire keeps it from spreading. All right, we need Visitors bulldoze. want to eat, sleep, and go to the bathroom and see the park by car. So I guess we need those facilities. Somewhere to sleep, somewhere to mm -hmm. eat. And then the, I think there was like a car like building or something at your place or like yeah. so you could buy them or something. Okay, so we need to start bulldozing around the fire. Where is the fire? I don't know. Do we need to find the fire? What if you, if you click on the map button? Can we see more? Oh, wondering where all the people have wandered off to or how well your grass is spreading? See the park. Okay, I see the fire. That's it's people. here. No, that's people. Oh. It's it. Look at the, the legend on the map below it. I don't see any fire. I don't know if there is a fire. I think we just bulldoze what is there. All right, well, let's start well, off what, here. Okay. Bulldoze. Yay! Oh. That's, should we build another tent here? Well, should, we should bulldoze all the all the stuff that was burnt down, right? Okay, just one more tent. Just, just... And a little path. Like, oh, dude, you're a pro at this. I'm so good at this game. Uh-oh. This is bad. Look so at there's this. a pool and like a big... What is, I don't know what that building is. It's a big building there. So we need to rebuild those? Hell yeah. We don't have too much money though, so we've got to be careful. Pool. That's $10,000. No, don't. Yeah! No, now we only have 19000 for 10 years. Okay. <laughs> we got we got to build up to we it. We need to spend big to make big. Let's just chill. Let's like pump the brakes a little bit here. Okay. Because how many, how do we see stats of who is here and how they're like, do we know any information about our park? I don't know. <laughs> like what do we build? Luxury dining hall. Hold up. We got to figure out what do we have already here? Can we have a look around? Okay, that's the village. Can we have a look around and see what buildings we actually have? Like what's this? That's, okay, get rid of that. That's... Get it out of here. Get it out of here. Okay, I'm bulldozing. No, no, no. I'm, I'm like, get it out of here. We don't want that. We don't want that. Get we it out of here. This. I love that the music. Oh, that's oh, cool. Oh, that's Imagine expensive. if you just clicked on that. <laughs> Don't bulldoze a deli. These are old. These are dead. Oh, these oh, are nice. Look. Yeah. I feel like they should have a little tree there. It's dead. It will grow. Out out house. No, the other one, the shower, the toilet. Yeah, that's what we. That's what we want. Yay! Look at that. Hell yeah. Look at me grow. Do, do we want another, another little hut to? Because I assume there was like a little hut there or something, right? Maybe a tent. How much? Wait, how, yeah. How much is everything? We should fifty dollars oh. or three fifty. Three fifty. We can do a three fifty. We can do a three fifty. Okay. okay. So do we have somewhere for them to eat? Because that was the other thing. Visitors like landscaped views. Ah. That's nice. <laughs> Okay, so I think we need some other dining solution for these guys. Let, let's put a dining solution over here. Mm. 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 So what are we? What, what are our okay, options? Okay, so we can have a dining area for one thousand. I think that's good. We're already back up over twenty thousand. We're making money. Damn. Let's do it. Let's just go. Maybe on like that other main road back there. Like is up it, here. Just, yeah, just behind it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's oh next to the little ranger hut. Oh. Oh well. well too late. It. Yeah, it's place now. <laughs> there we go. Uh-oh. Oh. It doesn't connect. It's okay. We'll just go around well, this way. Uh-oh. But that's a, cause that's a road. Oh, no. Oh, dear. I don't know what I did. Wait. It's okay. I just bulldoze. See, we get our money back. No problem. Dude, I don't think we do get the money back. Oh, really? I don't think so. Uh-oh. Well, let's put it somewhere else. We don't want to put it there, do we? No, it looks bad uh, there. Yeah, that was, a, that, was a, that was my bad. Sorry. Yeah, why did you tell us to do something like that? Let's put it here. But visitors also like trees and all that, so we'll have to plant some more in, I think, afterwards. Yeah, we will. But one thing at a time, Samaj. Trust Deli. She knows No, best. I know, but uh, this is teamwork, isn't it? I thought I was just Yeah, adding, yeah. But you're being mean to me. Sorry, I didn't mean to be mean to you. I'm just getting really excited, and when I play games with people, I like feel like I need to be the boss. We need a car. Okay, we need a <laughs> four-door car. Okay. We can put it over here for people to drive in. Hey, lady, you want to hop in my sweet car? There we go. Get in Do the car. Do we need car. roads for these or? Oh, I don't know. Well, it's a safari. Uh, I mean, maybe not. I don't. I just. Don't, I don't remember how this works. That's the problem. <laughs> like, how does staff work? Does staff just appear or like? Well, let's see. Introduce yourself to the bill business manager. She's one tough cookie, and she wants to make your camp the most popular and profitable in. Okay. Africa. Well, how do we? Oh, here we go. Okay. Beds, um... food, outhouses. Did we have an outhouse for the? 
tents. Yes, I think so, but we can check on that again. So transportation, transportation which you built. The outhouses oh, are too few and far I think between. So I think we need to do one on the other side as well. I don't know if we have one. You have zero cooks, zero drivers, zero tenants, zero naturalists, and zero scouts. So it nothing. Okay, so we need to hire people to work here. Because we, we built the, the little dining area, so I guess we need to cook. We definitely need drivers because we got cars. We got a three-star rating, though. Woohoo! Uh, we do need a... Let's build another outhouse before we figure out how to hire people. No, oh! no, 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 I didn't mean to! Let's put a couple Whoa, in. Oh, they get the luck to tell you. How come the people in the whole houses don't get the luxury of having two, but the tent guys do? Well, I thought they would have toilets in their houses. But do we know that? We don't. <laughs> okay, so how do we hire people? I just need a couple of these. Don't you have to go to the village? I think that's what you have to do. The elder is your eyes and ears to the village. He knows the mood of the people. He'll tell you if the villagers are willing and able to work with you. He can also let you know if you should expect any poaching. <laughs> Okay, my people don't have a lot of luxuries. Life is pretty hard here. Our village is growing and prospering. A truck will allow us to sell food in the city. Villagers will mistrust you if you lay them off too many times. Be careful or they'll decide to not work for you again. Okay, the people in your local village need extra sources of income, particularly during hard times. Poaching animals to sell is an option, but you don't want that to happen, do you? No. <laughs> you can hire people to work in your camp. Just make sure you can afford to pay them for a while. Okay, so I think we need, yeah, we need to hire, we definitely need a cook. Let's get one. One. Uh, drivers, we need one driver. A tent, wait, whoa, ho, whoa, hey, whoa, ho. Well, hey. I'm just doing what they said to do. If you, I think we need two though, don't you? Because it still says we need one in each of those. Oh, it's going up every time. It's because it, the time is still ticking forward. Oh my gosh. Okay, so maybe we should get three. Well, hang on. I don't, because every time you change it, like it updates. I think, whoa, not 13. Whoa, no. Uh, I don't think we need that. How many people do we have? This is a lot of money. You know, is we, it? We only had twenty thousand dollars to start with. This is fourteen thousand. Okay. Oh, forty thousand. Fourteen hundred monthly cost. Okay, we have three cars, so we need three drivers. I don't think we need three drivers yet. I think we let's let's start let's start off easy. Let's start off with one. Let's just one. Like, yeah, yeah. Let's just let's not rush into it because they're quite expensive, and the scouts are also very expensive. Okay, fine. We'll get two scouts. We'll get two of these because you want to start slow. I think we should have one of these. But we don't need one of those. We okay. need zero. Okay. Everyone you requested has been hired. Yay! I am surprised. Yossi has offered to be a scout in your camp. I'd say Yuzi, but... Okay. I don't know. I guess we're done. Okay, so let's go back to the village. Oh, not the village. The camp. Oh my gosh. Look at out. Birds, reptiles, mammals, shrubs, other... How do... Oh my... There's a lot of animal... Animals? Ma there's a lot of animals here. There's a lot of animals. Okay. Uh, We have a lot of stuff. We needed leopards, right? Yes. Meet the park ecolo ecologist. The ecologist knows truckloads of stuff about plants and animals. She tells you how well you've planned your park and gives you advice. You have some of the big five populations, but do not ignore the rest. The villagers have been leaving the animals alone for the most part. There's been some poaching, but not enough to worry about. My spotty friends, the leopards are too scarce here. Okay, so that's just like info. Park census. Oh, so this tells you how many animals you have. We have a lot of African elephants. Good grief. This is so detailed. Oh, that's like a quiz. Test your knowledge about the mammals, birds, and reptiles of the African savannah. You'll get two points for each right answer. Okay. Start a 20 question game. Okay. Right. The sable antelope is one of how many antelope species found in Africa? 72. That's what I'm going to say. How does the herd respond to a fellow animal? Wait, we got it right. Call? Yay! Because we've got two. <laughs> How does the herd respond to a fellow animal's distress call? Uh, run away as fast as possible, I reckon. Wait, wait, let's read all of them. All leap in different directions, all charge... No, run away as fast as possible. I think it's all charge the predator. That's not how herds work. <laughs> run away as fast yeah, as possible. Yeah, that's what I reckon. I think they go in different directions so that the predator only chases one. That says all leap in different directions, though. I think it's this one. Okay. Oh, it was all charged a predator. Oh. We were both wrong. How does the Dukia's size compare to other antelopes? It's one of the smallest. One of the smallest, judging by that picture. What is a key feature in identifying the water buck and other antelopes? Size and shape of horns, the number of toes on the hoofs, regional accents in their like Probably size and shape of horns would be my answer. That's my answer. I don't know if that's right. Yay! Yay! <laughs> what do warthogs most commonly do when alarmed? I think it's this one. Okay. Nice! Who is the white rhinoceros only enemy? Lions, humans, hippopotamuses. Hippopotamuses? Can I get well, humans? I was gonna say I get, well, we're not but are we considered an enemy? Like humans poach them, but is that an enemy? Let's do the hint. 
Oh! Oh! I'm, not, I'm not an enemy of them. Who are the attackers and the victims when spotted hyenas engage in siblicide? I mean, it sounds like siblings, so newborn brothers and sisters probably. Yay! Hey, you're smart. Yeah, because I committed siblicide in my youth too. What is the name of this species of antelope? Uh, that's actually, well, it's not a wildebeest. It's not a cow. Well, maybe it is a cow. I think it's an oryx. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Because I mean, a cow is something completely different. Wait, what? What? Oh, we completed the mission! Oh! High five! Oh! <laughs> yeah! So time was going on with that quiz. <laughs> <laughs> we completed it. You wow. you go, Ranger. You ace this mission in five years. All the travel mags agree. Your safari camp is the most luxurious and has the best wildlife viewing. You fixed a fire, ravaged camp, and visitors are streaming back to the camp in record numbers. The safari camp is profitable and thriving. Good work! You'll be up for a promotion for a job. Well done. Yay! I don't remember this game being this easy. It is called, like, the, when we loaded the game, it does say Max has kids. So maybe for kids it's not as easy. Oh. Good times! Yeah, we did it! <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more Sim Safari, let us know. And as always, I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And have an awesome day. And keep the animals happy. And the villages. Rub my and belly. And you'll live your best life. Ciao, ciao.